Did you guys watch that event where crazy rich people dress up for attention? Not the Met Gala, I'm talking about the White House Correspondents' Dinner. A good evening, citizens of the world. My name is Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News, coming to you from our parent company at the Spunk Network, where we cover it all and give it to you hard and quick. This is Last Month in Music News, where we bring you sort of current music news from last month to distract you from your miserable lives. Jared Leto was on brand at the Met Gala and dressed up as what he's accused of liking most. Underaged white pussy. We start the broadcast off with Ed Sheeran being sued in what seemed like another round of the Marvin Gaye estate lottery. But it's actually late writer Ed Townsend that accused Ed Sheeran of ripping off the 1973 hit song, Let's Get It On saying that Sheeran's 2014 hit song, Thinking Out Loud, is too similar. Sheeran's defense is basically that he ripped off a Van Morrison song instead. Ed Sheeran then brought in a surprise lawyer for his super-duper ironclad defense. Uh, like it goes ding, 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 That's the way theirs goes. Ours goes ding, 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 That little bitty change. It's not the same. Ed Sheeran actually won the case, and just for the record, I agree with the outcome. Chance the Rapper admitted that during the period of time up to his album Acid Rap that he fell into a bad drug habit and that he would have probably died from taking too many Xanaxes if he didn't have his spirit tugged on. I know exactly how he feels and getting my spirit tugged on also brings me back from a dark place. It's really an eye-opening religious experience when you get tugged the right way. A kind of out-of-body experience, if you will. Lizzo helped the fan create a butt tattoo on stage at one of her concerts. Lizzo also would have performed, but the allotted time for renting the arena ran out because it was a really big tattoo. Might still be a little too small to fit. Paul Stanley from the rock band KISS said that the issue of kids' gender identity and parents who normalize and encourage it is a sad and dangerous fad. There is a big difference between teaching acceptance and normalizing and even encouraging participation in a lifestyle that confuses young children into questioning their sexual identification as though some sort of game and then parents in some cases allow it. Then he said, excuse me, but I look fabulous in this makeup, high heels and tights. Just a little hypocritical there, buddy. Bad Bunny had his first ever solo match at the WWE Backlash event, defeating former tag team partner Damian Priest in a street fight. I've never seen a real street fight last 20 minutes that had both people hitting each other with a stick, metal chair, and a garbage pail cover, with both of them looking like they could do a modeling shoot at the end of it. It's more believable thinking the girls at a strip club actually like you with potato chip grease sliding down your shirt and your fat, hairy stomach peeking out the bottom. It was revealed that Diplo ran in the Los Angeles Marathon in March while taking acid. He completed the marathon in three hours and 55 minutes and said that he ran a seven minute mile for the first two hours and that it went by really quickly. But here's actual footage of Diplo at the marathon. A number of singers performed at King Charles III's coronation in England. Remember when Americans fought a revolution against the crown? Now they're eager to bend over and be their court jester. Just an observation. Sad. Coldplay are set to perform a concert in Malaysia in November, but the leader of the Malaysian Islamic Party is calling for the concert to be cancelled. Why, you ask? He said, What does the government want to nurture a culture of hedonism and perversion in this country? I advise you to just cancel this group's performance in Malaysia. It brings nothing good to religion, race, and country. He thinks cold play are hedonistic and perverse. They better have a team of doctors near him if Cardi B ever performs there. This brings us to our wonderful sponsors. Hypocritical, the new Paul Stanley makeup and fashion line for boys. Do as he says and not as he does. You too can look fabulous while Paul Stanley tells you to stop using his product. Confused? So is Paul. The Coldplay Hedonism and Perversion Tour. Get hot and steamy on your one-way ticket to hell listening to Coldplay sing their super slutty songs with disgusting lyrics like Look at the stars, look how they shine for you and everything you do, yeah, they were all yellow. 
You'll also get to watch Chris Martin prance around the stage in his wool sweaters like the filthy two-bit whore that he is. Who the hell does he think he's showing his neck skin to like that? The bookie odds for who would win Eurovision came out before the semifinals. The odds were one to one that someone named Sven, Helga, Carlson, or Olaf would win. Songstress Sia married her boyfriend Dan Bernard last month in Portofino, Italy. Here's a photo of them at their wedding. Even though they were in Italy, it looks like Sia went with the French bride theme. Willie Nelson wrote a book that's coming out on October 31st. It's entitled Energy Follows Thought, The Stories Behind My Songs. Every song's story will start with the phrase, I wrote, insert name of song, while I was high. I know it wasn't great. You try doing this month after month and not have some stinkers. The Foo Fighters shared their second song from their upcoming album, But Here We Are. The song is about dealing with grief, and the title of the song is Under You. The song was apparently written about Lizzo. How's that for making up for the last one? I already know I'm going to hell, people. I have a funny feel, and I'll see most of you there, too. Can't make a joke about anything anymore. Garth Brooks revealed that he took a shower with Steven Tyler at Shea Stadium right before they went on stage at the last Play at Shea concert with Billy Joel. Steven Tyler said it was only because he had soap in his eye and couldn't tell if Garth was a 14-year-old girl or not. Better safe than sorry, he said. If you're asking what the hell does he mean, go Google Steven Tyler and other age girl. There's a method to my madness. The bassist from the band Busted, Matt Willis, admitted that after the band's reunion, his addiction caused him to do six grams of cocaine every day. He's had support from friends and family, and even Elton John had something to say. Elton John said, Just six grams? What a pussy. Six grams is what fell off my upper lip at the end of the day. The students and staff at Secondary School St. Kentigern's Academy in Blackburn, West Lothian, Scotland, honored Louis Capaldi with a statue that took them six months to sculpt. It looks like they threw a jacket on a melting block of cheese. Well, folks, that's all the news for now. You will like this video. Comment down below and subscribe. I'm Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News. You know what I always say. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Until next time. Rest in peace to music legend Tina Turner. I hope she has courtside tickets to watching Ike Turner be violated by a cactus whenever she wants for all of eternity.